Hi everyone, this is the another example on system of non-homogeneous equations. Sometimes given question is in this form, solve the following system of equations completely. It means that first of all, we have to check that whether the given system of equations are consistent or not by using the conditions. Okay, if given system is consistent, we have to find out whether the given system has unique solution, otherwise infinite number of solutions and we have to solve that all solutions. Okay, see. So, first of all, as usually, we have to write the matrix form. What is the matrix form of this given system? So, matrix form of given system is ax is equal to p okay that is what is a here in the first row we have to write the coefficients of the variables in the first equation here so 3 3 2 okay next coefficients of the variables in the second equation is second row 1 2 there is no z Term. that's why its coefficient should be written as 0 next write the coefficient of x here which is 0 10 3 2 minus 3 minus 1 what are the variables of course four equations are given in three variables only don't forget it that's why n value is 3 so x y z Sometimes variables in the equation are given as x1, x2, x3 instead of x, y, z. In that case, you should write here x1, x2, x3 only. And what are the red side constants? 1, 4, minus 2, 5. This is the given system. Immediately, we have to write what is the augmented matrix in this system. The augmented matrix of given system 1 is represented by matrix A, B. Okay. So, first write A here which is 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 0, 0, 10, 3 and final row is 2, minus 3, minus 1. So, you should write B as last column. 1, 4, minus 2 5 and separate this both a and b with dots okay now what is our aim our aim is to find out the rank of a and rank of augmented matrix a b by reducing it to echelon form so since here we have one there is a chance to make this element is one so interchange the rows interchange first row and second row so, AB is equal to, write for second row as first row, 1, 2, 0, 4. So, second row becomes 3, 3, 2, 1. Last two rows are same rows, 0, 10, 3, minus 2. 2, minus 3, minus 1, 5. Okay. Now, by using this element, we have to make this element to 0 and this element to 0. This element is already 0. That's why don't disturb third row. Okay. What are the operations? R2 implies R2 minus 3R1. Just multiply the first row with this element. And what about last row? R4 implies R4 minus 2R1. Okay. Do the operations here only. Don't use our rough in our exams. What is R2? 3, 3, 2, 1. And uh, multiply the first row with 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 0 0, 3 4s are 12. Subtract both rows. 3 minus 3, 0. 3 minus 6, minus 3. 2 minus 0, 1 minus 12, minus 11. And what about here? Write R4, 2, minus 3, minus 1, 5. Next, multiply the first row with 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 0s are 0, 
so two fours are eight subtract both rows two minus two zero minus three minus four minus seven minus one five minus eight minus three okay to avoid the numerical calculations you can write the operations here only and write the matrix now the above augmented matrix a b becomes to how first row is same row 1 2 0 4 what is the second row this one 0 minus 3 2 minus 11 third row is similar row 0 10 3 minus 2 last row is 0 minus 7 minus 1 minus 3 okay now by using this second element we have to make these two elements to zero since there is no chance to make this element to one i will write the ordinary operations it means that you should multiply this term this row with three and multiply the second row with ten that is the operation see here so r2 implies 3r2 multiply the second row with this term plus this is minus and this is positive that's why i'm adding both rows don't worry and multiply the second row with the 10 so this is r3 not r2 and what about r4 r4 implies 3r4 minus 7 R2. Okay, write the operations here. What is R3? 3R3. 0. Write 3R3 first. 0. 3 times of 10. 30. 3 3s are 9. 3 2s are 6. Negative sign is there. Multiply second row with 10. 0 minus 30. 20. 10 into 11. I got minus 110. We have to add this both rows. 0 plus 0. 30 minus 30. 0. 9 plus 20. 29. Minus 116. Okay. Next. What is R4? 3R4. First, first, first operation is 3R4. Multiply the fourth row with 3. Okay. Now multiply the second row with 7. Minus 21 is there sorry this is 0 0 times of 7 is 0 minus 21 7 to are 14 minus 77 whole by now you should subtract them minus plus minus plus 0 0 minus 3 minus 14 minus 17 see what is 77 minus 9 it would be 68 positive 68 so we have to write the new augmented matrix now the above matrix a b becomes to how first two rows are same 1 2 0 4 0 minus 3 2 minus 11 and the third row is 0 0 29 minus 116 0 0 minus 17 68 now we are observing that a and a b are in echelon form okay because uh, still we are not getting echelon form because number of zeros does not increase row by row here we have only one zero and here we have two zeros and here we have only two zeros in the last row we should get at least three zeros that's why we have to make this element to also zero see now i will make this element to zero so first of all i will divide the r3 with 29 and r4 with 17 okay 116 is the multiple of 29 that's why so r3 implies r3 by 29 and r4 implies r4 by minus 17 so with these operations above augmented matrix a b becomes to how 
first three zeros uh, first two rows are same 1 2 0 4 next 0 minus 3 2 minus 11 next 0 0 29 by 29 1 1 and minus 6 1 1 6 by 29 is 4 so negative sign is there so 0 0 1 and 68 by negative 17 it would be negative 4 times okay so now we can easily make this element to 0 r4 implies r4 minus r3 so above matrix a b becomes to 1 2 0 4 0 minus 3 2 negative 11 0 0 1 negative 4 0 0 0 0 because 1 minus 1 0 minus 4 minus of minus plus 4 is 0 now a and a b are in echelon form what is rank of a close the last column clearly first three rows are only non-zero rows that's why rank of a is 3 in the similar way rank of a b is also 3 only and also n is 3 number of variables involved in the given system is also 3 so all are same so rank of a is equal to rank of a b their common ranks are represented by small r which is equal to n which is equal to 3 so given system given system is consistent you should highlight this condition with your box in our examinations don't forget it so given system is consistent and has only unique solution now we are going to find out that unique solution so from this last matrix we have we have to write the new equations first equation is x plus 2y z coefficient is 0 that's why leave the z term is equal to 4 take it equation number 2 what is the second equation minus 3y plus 2z is equal to negative 11 and last third equation becomes 1 into z z is equal to negative 4 so directly we got the z value so substitute this z is equal to negative 4 in the previous equation so you will get minus 3y 2 into negative 4 minus 8 is equal to minus 11 see minus 3y is equal to minus 11 take this negative 8 to right side you will get negative 3 so i got y is equal to 1 so i got y is equal to negative 1 okay now substitute y value in equation number 2 so x plus 2 y y is negative 1 so you got minus 2 is equal to 4 okay y value is negative 1 sorry i got y is equal to negative sign negative sign gets cancelled 3y is equal to 3 y is only 1 so x plus 2 is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 minus 2 x is equal to so finally x is equal to x y z 2 y value is 1 and z value is minus 4 this is the required unique solution of given system 1. In this way we can solve the given system of non-homogeneous. In the next video I will give some more examples on non-homogeneous system. Thank you very much.